we're on the move again with Joey. Hey guys. Gigi, great grandma. Good morning. <laughs> Kate and a sleeping moon. And we are headed someplace very exciting to potentially make a big purchase that will be um, very life changing ish. Ish. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, so me and Kate have been talking about um, our goals for the year because we really want to keep moon involved in our lives. Um, we want to avoid as much as possible having to hand them off to other people. Obviously, one of the biggest issues is shooting things and, you know, bringing them into new homes and all that. And Kate had this amazing idea. we can make how will it turn out omg morning everyone before we get into it guys hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed make sure your notifications turned on hey granny are your notifications turned on absolutely okay uh you can also hit the join button if you want to take it to the next level members vlogs live chats all that stuff because mr kate's about to go on the road ready oh granny gosh. ready, ready granny, granny Right. On the road again. <laughs> this is our driver. <laughs> Let's do it. Hi, baby. Oh my gosh. Moon, look. That's gonna be us. That's gonna be your dad, definitely. That's gonna be me. And that's gonna be you in a little floaty playing somewhere. Let me just explain to you guys why I got obsessed with this idea. So, had a baby. My sister was like, you guys should get a sprinter van and make it basically like Moon's room wherever you go. And I was like, oh, this is such a new idea. I hadn't ever heard of van life, you guys. I was new to van life. But the more I researched it, the more I have kind of decided that it's not the safest thing for a kid in a car seat because when you convert these things, you put up like cabinets, you, you know, you do a lot of things in the interior that as soon as you get into a wreck, all that stuff goes flying. So we had to kind of go back to the drawing board because really the safest option is a trailer because that means we're not in it while we're traveling on the road in LA where it's accident prone and the trailer can be DIY'd to the nines. This is the 19 foot Bambi flying cloud. So it's a 2019 new one and here's the Caravel. And the Caravel's a 2020 or a 2019? 2020. Gotcha. Like it's like you come in here and it feels like so like factory made. Yeah, but it feels done. We don't need a microwave. Like we don't even use a microwave in our house. We wouldn't be able to put our own twist on it. So it just feels like doing a new model is sort of a weird thing because I know we're just gonna ultimately change it anyways. Okay, so this is the 19 foot, 16, 16 foot, 16 foot. Obviously the bed configuration is different. I mean, I kind of like this bed configuration better. Me too. And then this is a shower toilet combo. combo. So that's like probably the big a difference. A wet bath. Yeah. I feel like if we can fit it, we do the bigger one and we DIY it and we put in a farmhouse sink so Moon can take his baths. <laughs> I like that, that yeah. Like basically if we're going to go an adventure in it, we like want to kind of keep like a similar routine like we have at home. So you know, one thing I like about this this, this layout is yeah. the windows. The other one, the window situation, is the top of the back is covered. Yeah. You know, if you were at the ocean, there's a man out there. There's a man. <laughs> yeah, no, if you were at the ocean, you back up and this is your view. Yeah. It was originally supposed to be something that we would just take to like whatever house we were making over to park it outside. And then it quickly evolved or devolved into an adventure mobile. I think the plan is, is we get the floor plan and we see what we can what actually we can fit. fit. In our driveway. There's so many things we need to like find out and figure out about this. We're such newbies with all of it. We have a, kind of a limited amount of space in our side yard where this could potentially go. So we're gonna head home. Okay, so All right. we were getting ready to leave, and then we saw this well, 2000. Joey asked, is there a used option? No, she's probably in the shade somewhere. Gigi, where are you? <laughs> we're waiting on Did someone steal our grandma? 
Gigi. As we were leaving, and sort of after we had taken in all the different models, I saw a couple on the lot that just looked slightly different. And I was like, what are those? And she was like, oh, those are actually uh, used models. And I was like, oh, uh, can we buy them? And she's like, yeah, they're for sale. And I was like, okay, well, let's go look. And they have this 2012. The other ones we were looking at are 2020s, brand new. And there's some things I actually like more about this one. This is way more up our alley because obviously we want to DIY the inside of it. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds because they're used, but they're not like falling apart used where we have to gut the whole thing because quite frankly, we don't have that kind of time. I kind of think that this is the one. I know, I kind of, oh my God. Like meant to be. I kind of want to buy it before someone else does. As soon as I see something I like, I'm convinced someone else is going to come buy it like that day. So I'm putting down a deposit. God bless you. Oh my Thank goodness. You. Another one? Oh, just two. Joey just went to get his credit card because. Because we're going to put a deposit. We're going to put a deposit on that use, the 2012 one. And the reason why we're just putting a deposit on as opposed to just buying it right now is because we have to go home and measure and make sure it's actually going to fit in our driveway. So. That's what Moon thinks. Oh my gosh, you're torturing that dog. That dog hears the squeaking. Alright, we are back in the car. Moon is asleep again. Little champion sleeper baby. Alright, so we're gonna go home. We're gonna plan, talk it out, measure, see if that even is gonna fit, and if we even then purchase it all the way. OMG, we maybe bought a home on wheels. What do you see? What do you see? Whoa, there's a foot in the air. I'm so excited to go adventure with you, baby. Yeah, Gigi's gonna come camping. Hi. <laughs> I'll meet you at the motel. <laughs> well, the good news is that we can fit the 19 and our trash cans behind the gate if we flip them out. The bad news is that I don't think there's a world in which we're gonna be able to access it while it's on the side yard. I mean, we might be able to squeeze it, but it's not gonna be like, you know. Easy breezy. Luxury, like, oh, we haven't guessed they can sleep in the Airstream. So the things I need to buy in order to be able to get the Airstream are a car with a hitch. <laughs> Just gotta buy a car. <laughs> Now all of a sudden, I have this other issue where I need to get a tow car. The good news is my lease is up uh, on our Subaru, so I'm gonna try to turn that back in and get something that can pull the weight of this trailer. And but then think, we gotta DIY it! But I think it's, we can buy it. <gasps> oh my gosh! Stop, wait a second. What? You no, mean you mean you're gonna be backing. pulling it in with the car. Backing it in. <laughs> right. I'm not worried about it. Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we're gonna get a trailer and we're going to DIY it and make it so pretty. And we're gonna go and enjoy the great outdoors with our beautiful baby. And then we're also going to be able to be Mr. Kate on the road and come to your house, potentially. <laughs> what do you think, Moon? <laughs> yeah, is that a yes? Hi, Dad. Hi, buddy. Um. um <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna head to the Airstream dealer and I'm gonna pick up our new Airstream. We're just like going for it. So I got here ready to buy the 2012 and I was just sort of giving it one last look and I realized that the bed in it doesn't fit me. I can't wrap my head around getting into an Airstream that we're gonna use to travel around and not be comfortable. So there's another one here that has a different layout and OMG, we just bought it.
We started thinking we were gonna get a 16 footer, now I'm up to 20 feet. Four feet doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a lot in these things, because this is like tiny living. So the other one, the bed was like split in the hall, so there was more of the curved shell in the bed. This one is like longer, so my long legs can fit in it. Also, the thing I realized I didn't like about the other one was that the bed is right next to the bathroom, so now you have the bed here, the bathroom's down here. It's three years newer than the other one, so it's in better shape as well. Oh my gosh, this Airstream is like beige on beige on beige inside. Like, we're gonna have to do breaking beige on this Airstream. It's like I haven't been this excited since we bought our house. Just a quick Airstream update. So, I'm sick, Kate's sick, Moon's sick, we all got a cold. I'm like losing sleep because I'm freaking out about this Airstream situation. Cause I'm like, what are we doing? <laughs> we were gonna originally get a 16 footer. Then we were like, you know what? I think I can make a 19 foot fit in that side yard. So we were like, okay, we're gonna get a 19 footer. And then there I was like, what's, you know, what's an extra foot, 20 feet? But then I looked up the manual for the model I bought and it's 20 feet and 11 inches. And those 11 inches are really screwing me over. So in order to get the 20 feet, 11 inches to fit, I gotta change our gate to swing out. So that's what we're doing right now. We, we gotta basically unweld them because it's all welded iron. I also had to wake up this morning and dig out these plants because now that the gate is gonna swing out, these plants were in the way. So this whole thing is crazy. You guys, this was a reckless thing. Like we are being reckless and wild and crazy because we haven't even ever done this before. We totally should have rented one first and taken it out and like seen if we even liked it. All right, Joey has been working so hard. Today is the big day. Joey is going to go pick up the Airstream and I'm so excited. Moon and I are here. My dad came over, Nanu, to help me take care of him while I get some work done. I measured the our street and our driveway. <laughs> floor plans, guys, always make floor plans. <laughs> and I'm gonna take duct tape, which is the only duct tape I could find. Oh yeah, you have to show them. It's so funny. This random mustache duct tape. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to a, a parking lot and I'm gonna tape off our street and our driveway. So I can practice pulling the trailer in. But my biggest concern is the fact that our street is so narrow that like I need to make sure I have enough swing. Swing. Oh my god, is that not the cutest thing you guys? Joey's going to be out there in some random parking lot with his mustache tape, his new tow vehicle and his new airstream. <laughs> I wish I could go with you. Oh my god. Joey is single-handedly making our airstream dreams come true right now. All right, guys, I'm in the tow vehicle. It's actually really nice. I wouldn't normally get this big of a car, but because I got to tow this thing, I got a Ford Expedition, which is basically a giant car. The big reason I also like this car too is because it actually has some built-in trailer features. This is the, the trailer brake controller. Whenever you brake in the car, it breaks in the trailer depending on the sensitivity you set and then if you ever need to manually break it you just do that and then this is a system that helps make your backups easier when you have a trailer i've never pulled a trailer and i have probably the smallest space you could fit a trailer in if i can't fit this in i don't know what we're gonna do let's go get the airstream we're here here she is Look at that beauty. All right guys, I made it to a parking lot. It's still attached. So I'm gonna do a little practicing. Man, I thought backing this thing up was actually not gonna be that hard. 
when you think about it, it doesn't seem that hard, but trust me, when you're actually backing this thing up, it's hard, because like, you're trying to avoid it from jackknifing. Once you get the ankle, then you gotta like straighten out your car just so to keep it going the way you want. Negative two stars out of a 10 star scale. I'm just gonna go home and just try it, because I, this is, I can't tell what I'm trying to accomplish here. Thank you to my dad for coming over this morning. I was able to shower and sort of get ready. And now my sister and my mom are here. These two bros. What up, bros? And we just heard that Joey just got off the freeway exit and he's on his way here with the trailer. So we're gonna go outside. So now the door is open out. Oh, Moon is so cute. Moon, are you so excited for our adventures? There it is. What? Oh my gosh! What a door. <laughs> it's our adventure burrito! Oh no, this guy's like FML. He got stuck by and Joey. Oh my gosh, it's like rush hour. There's all these cars going by. I think you might be better off if you pull into I don't know. I'm, I'm He's going around the block. Why? Every time he every time he screws this up, he's gonna literally go around the block. <laughs> My sister is helping Joey back in to the driveway because I'm holding Moon. I don't want to be like directing him while holding Moon. Like I don't know how we're gonna do this when it's just three of us. But thankfully Tess is here right now to help. Oh, he's going in that one. He ran up over the curb and he's in our across the street neighbor's driveway and they're probably like, what the f? Oh my gosh, it's getting in! Oh, 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 oh! Ah, you're okay! What? No, it's good! It's so stressful! I know, don't be stressed. It's it's because it's rush hour right now and there's so many cars. It's not even we're rush hour. We are doing such a good job though. Ooh, snap! Okay, this thing hardly even fits in our driveway and also is so wide. Oh my god, okay. it barely fits. Oh my god, Auntie Tess is doing an amazing job. Moon is watching, fascinated. What is Dad doing? We have an airstream! Okay, stop. Perfect. <gasps> Yay! I can't believe you just did that. Oh my gosh, we got it in the driveway. It is a tight fit. Yay, Joey! I don't think we can walk inside of it when it's parked. Hello, I just had a baby. I've got boobs and butts and bellies scraping against the wall trying to get into this airstream. But it's here, guys. We have it. We've got a big beige burrito crammed in our driveway. All right, so obviously the big project for this Airstream is that we need to make it ours. But before we do that, we wanna just take it for a test run because we really wanna like live in it for at least a night and see how, you know, A, how all the systems are working, make sure nothing's broken, needs to get fixed, but also how we use the space, what we think is necessary, what we think is unnecessary, what we think we could modify. So we're taking the Airstream down the PCH to Malibu. Okay, we are in our driveway and basically I took the ugly old comforter off here and I just brought like duvet cover and bedding from the house, sheets, etc. We pack like little overnight bag. We have Moon's carrier, this is Moon's bag. We've got the fridge, which is not chilled yet because obviously we have to get that going. Oh my gosh, it's so stocked already. Mom was helping us arrange all of this. Thank you. Welcome. Um, so we've got lunch. <laughs> you see the baby in there. <laughs> you see the baby in the reflection? Where's that baby? Mooney's excited. We are going to use this layout and camp in it because we've never camped before in our lives. <laughs> That's not true. I've camped. I mean, I've camped in like like eighth grade for like a class trip. I'm not a good camper. So Joey, Moon, and I are hitting the road in our new towmobile with our trailer attached to a local RV park. It's actually called the Malibu RV Park. It's like a old school place. It actually burned down in the recent fire, so they've rebuilt it. But it has a gorgeous view of the Pacific Ocean. And you wake up at the ocean. This is your first night away. Mm -hmm. 
from home since we brought you back from the hospital. I'm so excited, baby. I'm so excited to go adventure with you. Okay, ready? Let's go. We just parked at the RV park. It was um, interesting. I had to direct Joey backing up. Moon was in the car. And now we're here. <laughs> I just nursed him. So obviously having the RV is amazing because I just like came in here because he was hungry. So he laid down. He had his lunch. Joey and I got sushi at the grocery store. We're gonna have our lunch. But yeah, I'm gonna try to make it nice in here, make the bed and everything. Joey's outside. I don't know, I just hear a lot of noise. He's hooking it up to like all the things. All right guys, we made it. We're set up. We got our window open. Kate's inside, changing moon on the bed. I think we're gonna make the fabric in here spit up proof because... You just spit up all over it? You just spit up all over it. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self, make the fabric that we use in here durable. Yeah. You little cutie. Oh, look at he's drooling. He's so excited. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> why we want this type of adventure mobile because like this day was great like we drove here with moon safe in the car in his car seat and then we got here he wanted to nurse and take a nap so we were able to do that and be like so cozy and now we're taking a walk by the ocean moon's never been by the ocean before like we're doing so many firsts with moon today because of our adventure mobile. And so, look at this I feel view. like it's a good thing. Look at this view. Yeah, look at this view. Ooh, let's just take it in. Welcome home. All right, let's figure out how to turn the stove on. Oh, I gotta turn the propane on. Turn the propane on, Dad. Okay, guys, um, we're gonna make some lentil soup out of a can because didn't have much time to figure out something for dinner. Not too shabby. Lentil soup topped with pepitas and avocado with a little pita bread for dipping. Entertaining the child with a bag of potatoes. Ooh. All right, guys. Okay, recap. Or... First night was good. First night was good. It was it's um, a small bed for the small bed for the three of us. It was a very small bed for the three of us, and I hate the lighting temperature in there. It's like very like bright white, so at night it just felt like I don't know. It just did not feel cozy at all. Like we need to cozy it up in there. I'm not really sure that I like the like tin foil look on the inside. Okay. Like I'm kind of thinking we might want, I might want to paint in there. I mean, I know it's like really classic Airstream to have the tin foil thing, but it kind of feels like I'm inside a cat food can. <laughs> There's a lot to do, guys. We're gonna bring you the process. Yeah, so guys, thank you for coming along with us as we made this really reckless, crazy purchase, or just spur of the moment. But also purchase. part of the reason we purchased it because maybe, maybe it'll enable us to come out of our little bubble and like come to your neck of the woods. Yeah, like we get so many questions from you guys like, will you come to this city? Will you come here? Will you come here? And we were thinking like, maybe we could even go on the road. We don't know yet, because obviously we've got to bring this guy and we have to figure it all out and like bring our crew or how are we filming it or everything. So we got a lot to figure out, but we're so glad that you guys stayed on this journey with us if you've made it to the end of this video just know just know that the next time we see you with this airstream we will be 
DIYing it. Like we will be designing. We have, we have it. two interior design videos coming after this one. Yeah. Uh, maybe three, and then and then we'll two be back for part two of this video, which is when we'll dive into the remodeling and makeover of this video. Yeah. So don't worry. It's gonna be so cute. Thanks so I much hope. for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button if yeah. you aren't already a subscriber. Yeah. Join the Creative Burrito family. Join us on our weird, <laughs> impulsive <laughs> Airstream purchase. Thumbs up for those feet. Thumbs up for these feet. And, uh, and yeah, we love you so much. Stay creative, stay weird, stay you. Because why not? Bye! Bye. Welcome to vlog number, what is it, Joey? 26. Mom's gonna help me go through my shoes, which is gonna be so scary and crazy because I legit probably have 200 plus pairs of shoes. What we'll do is we're gonna start to just take all of them out and we're gonna stand them in a line. We're making a, <laughs> a shoe parade. And there. And go behind the couch. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, I thought it was just this clump here, but it's no. all the way over here. And behind the couch, you guys, this is so embarrassing.